Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to WandaVision Season 1 Episode 6, I think we're on. What's the episode called? All New Halloween Spooktaculars. So, this show's been going up and up and up as episodes go on, man. As I said last week, it's just getting better and better. I think every episode was better than the last one, which is definitely a huge achievement. Will this episode keep that up? I don't actually think so, to be honest. I, I like being an optimist, but this is the one case. I, just, I have a feeling this episode's not gonna be as good as the last two. I don't know why. Weird feeling. I feel like that usually happens with shows. After you have a lot of crazy reveals and stuff, you gotta kinda, you know, dial it back a little bit. But that's okay, even if it is dialed back, that's all right, because you know what? We need some good character stuff here. I wanna learn more about Quicksilver and what the hell he's doing here, because I mean, we're probably not going to learn it from the sitcom stuff because everything happening there is really weird, so it's going to be hard to really learn exactly why he's there. My theory, though, I still think it has to do with the kids, though, because remember, Wanda was talking to the kids, telling them about her brother, right? I'm assuming they have the ability to maybe have him appear somehow. I don't know. Maybe they brought him in. We'll have to wait and see, but I do think the kids are more important about this whole thing than what we may think. So if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, that'll be available on my Patreon likely later today. So it might not be available right away, but it'll be available at some point. And you can also get early access to other reactions on the channel. So definitely go check that out. Let's hop right into it. What the hell? Malcolm in the middle? 100% Malcolm in the middle. There's no way that's not Malcolm in the middle. It's got the same font too. This, this has got to be Malcolm. Right, right, right. Maybe Malcolm middle wasn't the first one to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so is this like late 90s, early 2000s? Halloween's a magical holiday. All about family, friends. Yeah, 100% Malcolm middle. Come on. Come on. Even snores for I want to see him run fast. Oh shit, he did it! <laughs> Somebody better be bleeding broken or on fire. In her OG comic book costume, that's awesome. Worse than the costumes mom made us the year we got typhus. What the hell? <laughs> Hear all the gunshots? Mom's been weird since Uncle Pietro got here. I think it's because she hasn't seen him in a long time. Or because it's a weird version of him. Maximoff was never gonna negotiate with us. We take her out, this whole nightmare ends. You can't kill someone like that, though. All you people who left still have the luxury of optimism. You have no idea what it was like. Oh, oh shit. Get her off my base. Now. Damn. You know, he's being presented as, as like the villain here, but I, I don't even really completely disagree with him. I don't, wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't be going in there to kill. Wanda, but I get why like I can understand it, you know, oh shit Cause like from their perspective, they don't know Wanda like we know Wanda, you know what I mean? That's the thing We know her we know she's not a bad person, so we know she's gonna kill people But from his perspective, she just seems like some psycho who just kidnapped thousands of people and what else is she gonna do? You know, you gotta look at it from their perspective not from your own and then you kind of understand other characters a little bit more Not that I agree with him, but you're testing me No, I'm not I know I look different. Why do you? Yeah, that's weird. He has, I mean, he has the I same memories to... as Pietro did. I don't know. It's weird. How about you let Uncle P help you maximize your candy acquisition, huh? Yeah, kick ass. Kick ass? Kick ass? They just name dropped kick ass? Wait, wait. I gotta pause that. Y'all might not know this. Kick ass is one of my favorite movies of all time. And I know he was in the first one. He didn't obviously play kick ass, but he was in it as, um, what's it called? His friend. And Aaron Taylor Johnson was playing Kick Ass, and he also played he played Quicksilver. And that is, I'm that is hilarious. I that's a really cool callback. That is, I'm really glad they did that. <laughs> I didn't think they would. That's hilarious. Wow, I did not think they would drop Kick Ass. Obviously, Kick Ass isn't isn't Marvel. He's not gonna pop up in the MCU, but you know what I mean. Just the name drop is great. Uh, he's not on duty. No. I oh shit! What is he vision up to? He's definitely exploring. He's gonna try to leave. He's definitely exploring. What the fuck? <laughs> She's stuck. They're both stuck. How does that even happen? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh, this is such early 2000s. 
Yeah, all these commercials are metaphors to what's going on. Always. The Incredibles? Did it say The Incredibles? Yeah. So it is early 2000s then. They got his powers? I think the other one's gonna have Wanda's powers. Wow. Okay, I really like what's going on here. Yeah, so I'm assuming this is the one from X-Men. Somehow he came from that universe. But when he entered this world, he just he just achieved or not she I gained all of the actual Pietro from Avengers um his memories. Probably from Wanda's perspective though, so he probably doesn't have his own memories, just probably whatever Wanda remembers of him. This whole area, I guess maybe Wanda's just not controlling this area, maybe. Are you waiting for something? Bro, they're taking the mannequin challenge to the next level. Oh, is this from the uh this is from the trailer or one of the promos. This is Agnes, right? I was wrong, man. This episode is actually really s solid so far. Are you here to help us? I am Digimon. I do want to help. Uh, am I dead? Why would you think that? Because you are dead. Twice. Dead. Okay, calm down. Agnes. Calm down. I will fix this. this shit's so weird. Okie dokie, neighbor. <laughs> Oh shit! I don't know what. I really am curious as to how this is all gonna end. Like, what the hell's gonna happen with Wanda? We know she's in Doctor Strange too, so something's happening from there. So, is that Venom? Wait, that looked like Venom. I'm not some stranger, and I'm not your husband. Good thing you're not, because that'd be weird. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. I only remember feeling. Completely alone. Oh my god. This is gonna be so fucking weird. They're all just gonna see him come out, man. Is he even gonna work? Like, would he even be able to get out? Oh. Oh, it's like pulling him back in. It's pulling him back in. Oh my god. Is it because he's not able to be alive in the main world anymore? He's only able to still be alive in there? Or is it just pulling him back? Are we seeing him die for the third damn time? Hey, don't sweat it, sis. It's not like your dead husband could die twice. That... Oh. Oh, shit. Is she expanding it? Oh. Oh. She's expanding it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's gonna save Vision. Vision, yeah, Vision can't leave then. I'm really glad about that though. Because I was really worried that they were gonna just be like, oh, he could be alive or whatever, but. Oh, she's going in. She's going in. That is so cool. That is so goddamn cool. <laughs> Dude, she's straight up expanding the whole damn place. Anyone hear my voice? She said, fuck all of you, dude. Oh my god. So yeah, that episode managed to... It, it managed to beat out the last five. <laughs> okay, alright, this show this show is something else, man, I gotta say. Um, Wow, so there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here. What do we have, three more episodes, I think? I think there's supposed to be nine, if I'm not mistaken. But this episode was really just all in, man. That was... That is cool. That is some cool stuff. So, I am very happy that Vision can't be alive outside of the main world. Not that, you know, I want Vision to be dead or anything, but... My thing with the MCU, and this has been a big problem, I feel like, for the MCU, is I always worry about... They like to bring back characters a lot, which I'm okay with. Those characters I want to see again, but I don't like when, and this goes for anything really, when death is undone because it takes away the impact that death had. And it's like, oh, if you can reverse death, then what the hell can't, what, what can't you do? You know what I mean? It's almost like too much, but if they make it so he can't leave this, Wanda's going to eventually, I'm assuming, have to give this up. There's no way she's going to be able to stay in this world forever with Vision. Eventually, I think she'll come to terms with it and be like, I have to let this go. If she can't bring Vision out, too, 
that's going to be sad as hell. Maybe she won't even, be, won't even be able to bring her kids out either, which would even be crazier. I'm pretty sure there's comics based on this. I haven't seen them, so I don't really know. Don't, don't spoil anything if you do. I mean, I guess they're not doing the comics word for word, I would assume, but you get what I mean. I just, I'm glad that they're doing that. I'm glad Vision can't be alive outside of it because then it kind of makes death feel more impactful and it actually still is meaningful, you know? And I, I'm, I'm glad. So I don't know where the hell they're going to go from here. I really am curious to see it though because I'm assuming there's going to be another season maybe. I'm not, not too sure. And the whole situation with the with everything going on, like with what with, with the Hayward's doing and such, his tactics, as I said before, they're very extreme. But from his perspective, I mean, yeah, she's basically like uh, holding people hostage, you know? That's the thing. And I don't think what she's doing is makes her a, necessarily a terrible person, but it is still a bad thing because there's people here who probably had decent lives before, and now they're being forced into a world where they're clearly experiencing a lot of pain and agony. So, you know, I'm sure Wanda can come back from it, though. I'm sure if she comes to terms with something... I don't know, everyone keeps talking about this Mephsifo Mef character or something. I keep hearing the name Mephsito. Mef Mephsito? I don't know the I don't know to pronounce it. I keep hearing that name thrown around. Um, I have no idea who that is, but I'm assuming whoever that is will come into play at some point. Maybe it's a higher power that is involved in this somehow, creating this, you know, multiverse thing. And hopefully we get a good conclusion. I'm assuming Doctor Strange is going to come into play towards the end of the season. That would, that would make sense to me, because... This crazy shit going down, I feel like it's going to go... Just, the word's going to be spread a little bit, and I feel like people are going to start finding out. I feel like if Doctor Strange heard about, about this, he'd probably be like, I got to do something. I got to do something about it. So, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, go check it out on my Patreon down below. And peace out.